Hi boys and girls and welcome to lesson 5 of STEM for Term 2. I'm so grateful that you're joining me watching this video. I hope you've had a great time completing our lessons so far this term and I can't wait to get into what we're doing today. So for this term we've been looking at our design technologies unit and today we're going to be doing some designing around our topic that we've been looking at this term. So this term we've been looking at forces in particular, forces that are pulling and forces that are pushing. We've looked at different ways that we can use these forces and we've looked at some of the examples where forces are already being used for entertainment, for sports and for fun and for games. And we're going to continue along that theme today. So your task for this week, boys and girls, is to create your own toy that uses a pushing or pulling force, or your toy might even use both. You're going to need a piece of paper and a pencil to be able to do this activity because you're going to draw out a design of what you want your toy to look like. Once you've drawn your design, you're going to label all the different parts on it as well and give your toy a name. Once you've done that, on the back of the piece of paper, you're going to write down a list of the recycled materials that you could be using to make your toy at home. Once you've written down that list, you're also going to have a little bit of homework because you're going to need to, over the next week, make sure you keep some of those materials. So you might have to speak to mum, dad, big brother, big sister, or whoever takes out the rubbish at home, or maybe that's one of your jobs, and you're going to need to put aside some nice, clean, reusable materials so that next week we can try and build a version of our toy. But don't forget, this week is all about planning. So you need to make sure you have that design done thoroughly. You need to make sure it's very clear so that next week when you come back, you know exactly what you're going to be doing straight away. And you need to be able to make sure that you can explain how your toy involves some sort of forces, whether that be pushing, pulling, or both. It is completely up to you. I really look forward to seeing all the different designs that you come up with. Make sure you're keeping that piece of paper in a safe place, not only to use when you do your building, but also to get a copy back to me at some point. If you're able to, you can take a photo of that and email it to me or upload it to the OneNote, or just make sure you're holding onto it so that when you're back at school shortly, you'll be able to give a copy to me so I can have a look at all the hard work you've been doing at home. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching this video, boys and girls. I hope you've had a great time at home completing these activities. I can't wait to see you when you're back and I can't wait to continue having more fun in our STEM lessons this term. Bye, boys and girls.